What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Scuba Driver. My name is Steven. Uh, today is another awesome day because uh, we got some new car parts. As I mentioned in the last video with the tune, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the description. But just got the uh, Scuba a uh, Stage 2 Plus tune to go with my unequal length headers. But uh, Seth, uh, the guy that tuned it, actually hooked me up with some car parts. He had some uh, used ones laying around. He's uh, doing some weight saving on his car so he doesn't need them anymore. But uh, without further ado, we got some side skirts. Now these are used. I've, been, I've had these uh, containers sitting on them for a few days now just because uh, they weren't all the way straight. I cleaned them up a little bit. They may need some paint eventually, but uh, we're going to take a look after they get on the car. Also, we got a uh, strut tower bar. Not really sure what brand this is. I'm thinking it might be Cusco or something similar, but very, very nice. We'll get that on the car as well. Um, uh, I did look up the part numbers on these. I think you can get these on Amazon. They're about $130 brand new. So I'll put a link in the description for that. And if I find the part number for this one, I'll put a link in the description for that. But what I also want to do is uh, the lighting in my garage is absolutely terrible. <laughs> and uh, I, I always want to take pictures out here and videotape out here while I'm doing some garage work. So I got a uh, LED shop light. So first things first, I'm going to get that installed up on the ceiling and then uh, we'll get to work on the car. And my friend Tony thinks he's cool out there revving up his G35 while I'm trying to work. What's up, what's up? <laughs> right in time to help me. Hope y'all heard that. He just got a G35. We'll check that out later. All right, got the shop light installed in about two seconds. So pull the car in here. We'll get to work. All right. So the first part we're going to install today is we're going to do the uh, strut tower bar right here. I believe it's a Cusco one. Should be a really simple install. It's just uh, six 13 millimeter bolts. You'll pop those off at the top of the strut put that on there and uh, torque it back down. So we'll get to it. All right, Tony's gonna start uh, unbolting the, uh, the six uh, 13 millimeters here. We'll get those off and then we'll put the uh, strut bar on the car. All right, so we got it nice and lined up. This is a uh, strut tower bar. Uh, it comes factory with uh, the sway bars from the, uh, from the factory there. They work really, really well. Honestly, I've read uh, ups and downs on these. They either do nothing <laughs> or little to nothing. It's honestly not that measurable, but really just kind of dresses up the engine bay. And I really like the way the blue looks uh, against the motor because um, everything else in there looks stock. But we'll go ahead and tighten this down. Then we'll get to the fun part, which is drilling into the car to put the side skirts on. All right, so that took about maybe a total of five minutes of work. It was harder to hang the light than it was to put the uh, strut bar on the car. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Tony's always helping me out with my car. Uh, but really, it's just very aesthetically pleasing. It just kind of dresses up the engine bay a little bit. And like I said, uh, Seth hooked me up and gave me a really good deal on it. So it uh, looks really good. Next, next thing though, we're gonna put these side skirts on the car. So we're gonna get that ready. Basically, I just got these uh, self-tapping screws. I got these at Walmart for about 97 cents. Also got the uh, light at Walmart as well. And uh, we'll go ahead and get that on there. Yep, definitely looking good. All right, so uh, these are the side skirts here. As you can tell, you know, they have quite a few like scuffs and damage from uh, whoever had them, probably before Seth even had them. Couldn't tell if they were Plasti Dip, but after I uh, wiped them down with some Armor All, they're starting to clean up a little. Probably eventually what I'll do is, is I'll either, uh, you know, get these painted, painted or Plasti Dipped, um, just depending, you know, if I like them or not. So basically I'm gonna put them on the car, see if they actually look really good anyways. And then what I'll probably do is uh, get my brother-in-law or somebody to put a, a coat of paint on them. Probably around the same time that I'll end up uh, re-clear coating the carbon mirrors. These are starting to fade a little bit here. I never put clear coat on them. And then that, that wing, the SARD LSR uh, carbon fiber wing actually needs another clear coat as well. And then I'm also thinking, depending on how much it costs, I might end up painting the uh, louvers, maybe like a gloss black or so, possibly with that as well. And I uh, also have another update coming as well. It'll be at the end of this video too. So uh, basically, I think the first step is is I need to get the uh, I need to get these um, mud flaps off of the car before I can put those on there. So I'm gonna pop those. On. All right, so we're getting the side skirt on here. We got Vincent. He came over, and basically, we're just using some self tapping screws. I think I've got eight by three quarter inch screws. Got those from Walmart. And uh, he's just going to tap them in with the drill, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, it is now day two of this install, 
and uh, we got the side skirts on there last night. We uh, we ran into a couple of issues. Um, really, just me being kind of timid, not wanting to drill into my car. Like I said in many videos before, still really really new at this. So uh, drilling holes into my car, I guess, kind of scared me, and I didn't want to push the drill too hard. We thought we had the wrong screws, so we went and picked up some longer ones. But my friend Vincent, you guys might remember him from a couple of videos. He actually helped me put the uh, vertical doors on there. He uh, he just jumped in and came over and uh, was able to screw the. Uh, side skirts on with the original screws that we had on there. They probably went on in about five minutes total after he came over. So shout out to Vincent and shout out to Tony. Thank you guys so much for coming over and helping me out. Um, this is a lot of fun, you know, figuring out how to do this. These side skirts are far from perfect. Um, they're, you know, a few years old. They were kind of bent up and not perfectly painted, but I'm basically just mounting them on the car to see how I like them. And uh, so far, I mean, I don't know how well it picks it up on camera, but I think it completely changes the profile of the car, it makes it appear lower and a little bit more aggressive. And uh, we got something else coming today. Um, and hopefully in a couple of hours, I'll be getting a front lip for the car to go with the side skirts to kind of uh, keep going with the ground effects uh, kit for this car. And then eventually I'll probably get a rear uh, diffuser, a rear spoiler for under the bumper. To kind of go along with it give it a little bit more aggressive uh look make it look a little lower but uh i'll see you guys in a few hours once that part gets in and uh we'll clean up the car and see what it looks like all right guys just got done cutting my grass or so, actually i did the backyard I didn't even get to the front yard yet i got excited the ups guy came and uh he delivered the front lip now the box was absolutely destroyed so he had me look at it to make sure nothing was damaged i pulled the splitter out uh or the front lip out rather and uh everything looks fine under the plastic at least uh and we got the hardware still secure on there i think those are the uh self-tapping screws it came with yeah there's a little bit more heavy duty than the ones we were using on the uh side skirts yesterday but anyway uh yeah i got this thing on amazon I think I picked it up for about $50 or $60. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description. I uh, had some uh, Amazon gift card money burning a hole in my pocket, and uh, I went ahead and did the front lip. I mean, we did the, we got the lip or the uh, side skirts on there yesterday, so I know this is going to go perfectly well with it, but we'll make sure it fits on the car. Actually, my car is still absolutely disgusting from the mountains. So I should probably wash it first. All right, guys, got the car up in the air. First things first, of course, is get your jack and jack stands ready and uh make sure everything's nice and secure since we're going to be sticking our head up under the bumper and drilling some holes in it uh it's a few hours later i got a little bit distracted uh, i had some <laughs> house projects to do and uh kind of cleaned up the garage a little bit from last night um but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get up under the car we're just gonna uh, essentially it came with these um self-tapping screws looks like maybe about i guess probably around 12 of them or so so we're just gonna start i think i'm gonna start on the sides to make sure it lines up nicely again you know i try to test fit it doesn't look like it's going to be perfect, but I mean, we're just going to give it a shot and see what happens. Either way, if uh, this one doesn't work out, I'll return it and get another one. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to get up under there and see what we can do. Oh, also, it does not come with pre-drilled holes, so uh, I'm probably just going to map it out and make my own holes and see where to go. Where's out of here? Alright, so I guess this is going to be the true test actually because uh, I do have to bolt them up in the middle here. So we're going to slide, screws out, nails out, toolboxes out. Oh my gosh, it stayed on the car. This is a, this is a miracle. Alright, I'm going to keep hitting it with some screws. Far so good, guys. We are on there. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's mission complete. Got it all nice and lined up. After I bolted down uh, a lot of the last remaining screws, I actually kind of lined it up a little bit more. Again, I have no experience doing any any sort of body work at all, so for my first time, it actually came out pretty good. So me. 
and we got it out of the garage and uh, I know we're losing some daylight here but it is looking really really clean it does not fit perfectly but for what I'm going for I think it's giving it giving it a pretty aggressive look here appears much lower to the ground <laughs> I think what I'm gonna ultimately have to do is hit it with some more uh, self tapping screws on the front just kind of going up into the bumper to keep it a little higher uh, this is why I'm kind of glad I went with a cheaper one because uh, I can't imagine getting like a carbon fiber front lip or something way more expensive than this and scraping it all over the place. I mean, I take this car to Scrape City almost every single day driving. I don't think I'll mind scraping that for the price I paid for it. And uh, I think ultimately, if I do end up liking this or if I stick with uh, this front lip and the, of course, the budget side skirts that I got on there, what I'll actually do is, is I'm going to... Uh, probably end up getting them painted either uh, flat black or I might get them painted uh, gloss black to kind of brighten it up a little bit down there. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. That was a fun install. Got the side skirt, front lip, and strut bar all done in about one day. So uh, really happy with the way the car is coming out. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.